With this triad exercise, we're continuing to solve and graph and give interval notation for inequalities. They just keep getting a little bit more and more complicated, the same as we did with equations before we moved on to inequalities. Uh, again, the process, other than if you multiply or divide by uh, a negative value on both sides of the equation, uh, is the same uh, as when we were solving equations. The difference is graphing it on a number line and giving the solution in interval notation. So we'll go ahead and distribute the values in, in the inequality we were given on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So we have 4b minus 3 times 3 is 9. And then negative 3 times negative b is plus 3b, because a negative times a negative is a positive. This is greater than 5b minus 30 plus 2b. We'll combine like terms. 4b plus 3b is 7b minus 9 is greater than 5b plus 2b is 7b minus 30. But then if we subtract 7b from both sides, we get negative 9 on the left-hand side is greater than negative 30. Now, similar to when we were solving equations, if it's a true statement, after the variable falls out, then the solution is all real numbers. Uh, the difference is we don't need the same number on each side. We just need the statement to be true, the inequality to be true. In this case, negative 9 is greater than negative 30, which means that this is always going to be true. So the solution is all real numbers. This is fairly lackluster as far as a number line is concerned. We don't really even need to put any marks on there because it doesn't matter what the scale is. It just goes infinitely in both directions. Essentially, it's the entire number line. And then in interval notation, we're going from negative infinity to infinity. And this is an example of how we can have the same types of solutions for inequalities that we did for equations in the sense that uh, they're either a contradiction and identity or uh, conditional, but with the conditional, it's just it, you're still going to have greater than or, or a less than involved instead of just equals. In, in this case, we're looking at an identity inequality, essentially, because the solution is all real numbers. It doesn't matter what value of b you put in there. As long as it's a real number, you're going to get a true inequality.